हेलो एवरीवन अस्सलाम वालेकुम वेलकम बैक टू डॉक्टर टीथ और इन केस इफ यू न्यू हियर वेलकम टू डॉक्टर टीथ आई एम डॉक्टर हिना द फाउंडर ऑफ दिस हम्बल प्लेटफॉर्म वेयर वी मेक डेंटल एजुकेशन इनक्रेडिबली ईजी टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू हैव अ लुक एट द मैंडबुलर मूवमेंट्स इन थ्री so we will be having a look at a awesome video which we made in collaboration with the dental canvas now before we jump on to the 3d video let us start with the basics because as you know i love to start with the very basics you can cover the entire syllabus of prosthodontics on our website and you can also join channel membership to help support the channel and also get some member exclusive videos on youtube I will leave a link to join channel membership in the description box below do check it out Now mandibular movements can be divided into the border movements and the intra border movements Now what are border movements let us take an example i am from india okay so i have my confines within india okay unless i have a passport and a visa so that border of india that is my border okay so you can say my movement is limited till the border of my country so that is the extreme movement i can make without any limitation okay like without any prerequisite of having a passport or visa right that is a border movement the same thing is with our mouth okay our mandibular movements are limited because of the ligaments tendon bony structure so we cannot move the mouth as much as we want right we have a limitation so that is a border movement of the mandible the extreme movements in all the three planes that is the border movement right now what is intra border movement to understand this let us know more about me i am from uttar pradesh so in my early 20s i had not even been outside my state so that was my confine okay so that is the intra border movement i was confined within uttar pradesh so that is intra border movement but the border is still india right so all the movement that is happening within the border movement is the intra border movement so the chewing yawning all those daily activities they happen here in the intra border movement right i hope i made it clear now we can appreciate the border movement in three planes the horizontal plane frontal plane and the sagittal plane now when you look from the frontal view we have a characteristic shield tracing so the movement the mandible make all the movements the mandible make when you join those points you will get something which looks like a shield okay so that is called as shield tracing and it is seen in the frontal view now when we see the mandible from the sagittal view we can find a characteristic beak tracing so when we have a look at the mandible from the sagittal view and when the mandible makes all the extreme movements that is all the border movement we are getting a characteristic peak tracing now when we have a look at the horizontal plane we will get a characteristic diamond tracing so we look at the mandibular movement in the horizontal plane and we will find that when we connect all those border points we will get a characteristic diamond tracing now when we combine all these three movements that is the frontal sagittal horizontal we get envelope of motion so all these three planes combined give us envelope of motion it also comes as a short note now let us switch to the 3d video to understand the mandibular movements in the three plane i am really thankful to the dental canvas for creating this amazing video for our platform Dr Gopal is a really talented person and he helped bring our imagination into reality so i will leave a link to his platform in the description box below and i would recommend you all to follow him for such amazing 3d dental videos now let us continue with the topic first we will be having a look at the movements in the frontal view now here you can appreciate a characteristic shield tracing this is the intercuspal position 
when the subject moves to the right this point right here this will be the right lateral right and when we have maximum opening this point right here this will be called as the maximum opening here you can appreciate the envelope of motion the dark purple color represents the shield then we have the left lateral here we have the postural position you can see it here and then we have opening again maximum opening and then when the subject protrudes you can appreciate it here better here see that protrusion that will be called as the maximum protrusion okay and then let's have a look at the sagittal view so you can appreciate the beak tracing here and we will have a look at the condyle as well so when we have a maximum opening here you can see the condyle gliding forward for the maximum opening and then we have this point right here this is the terminal hinge position you can see that the condyle is in the terminal hinge position and then we have here the centric relation here you can see that the condyle is in the anterior superior position against the slope of the articular eminence again intercuspal position then this is the maximum protrusion okay you can appreciate the condyles here and then again for the maximum opening you can see that the condyle is coming backward this is the maximum opening now horizontal view here we have a characteristic diamond tracing you can appreciate the diamond tracing here see this point right here this is the centric relation then here will be the right lateral then on protrusion we have the maximum protrusion then we have the left lateral and then centric relation this will be the intercuspal position you can appreciate it better here and then this is the maximum protrusion okay so this is the envelope of motion we are seeing here the dark purple represents the diamond tracing and the light purple ones they are the motion in another plane okay so i would recommend you to rewind this video and watch again for a better understanding and i hope that you found this video helpful and if you did do give this video a thumbs up and also subscribe to my channel because it really motivates me to create more helpful videos for you all and let me know in the comment section below which other topics we can create in 3d to help you understand the concepts better i'll see you in the next video take care alhafiz